Oh, thank goodness. So Dana came out and he said no to open scoring. Now, in all fairness, that won't totally be Dana's call, but that's going to be influenced a lot by Dana. This is two years too late. We've been hearing about this open scoring. Guys, do you know how bad that would suck as a fan? Because a lot of you have been, yeah, let's do this open scoring. It's more fair. It's a better way. And the fighters need to know. A lot of you have been behind that. Guys, you're asking for the wrong thing. It's that old adage in life. Be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. You don't want open scoring. You absolutely do not. And let me explain to you so that you understand. We have open scoring right now in this regard. Okay, there's a misconception that a fight is not being tallied or totaled until the end of the night. and therefore. What happened in the previous rounds may be forgot by the end of the night, and whoever came on hard in the, in the final round is going to win the fight. That is not true. When I say that there is open scoring, I mean, make sure you understand this. I think a lot of us take this for granted because we know how it works, and so we assume that the viewer might know how it works, but if you guys don't see this and you haven't been told, you wouldn't know. So let me just run through this real fast, even if I'm condescending, but it's important that you get this. After each round, the judges will turn in their score for the round. Every single round, they will write down who won 10-9 must system. One guy must get 10, one guy must get a nine. Yes, I realize there's fine print and you could have an eight. You get my point. They will turn that into the executive director. That will never be changed, even if the judge wants to change it. If the judge runs over to the executive director and goes, you know what, I rethought that, I had that round run. No, excuse me. He will sign or at least initial and when the next round begins, that card is done. Cannot, will not, is not touched. So I bring that to you because there, is, when you hear this open scoring or you think this is all being done at the end of the night and the judge is going to go off of his memory and, okay, let me, let me try to remember what happened here and, and happened here and turn in my final score. That is not how it's done. It is done after each and every round that is handed in. Now, the open scoring term has come from people that are saying, think of like a shot clock. A scoreboard. Think of a scoreboard in basketball, in baseball, in football, where it's oh, they post it right then. So after each round, you will know what fighter got the 10 and what fighter got the nine based on all three. First off, that's going to be confusing, right? Because this isn't Philadelphia versus Los Angeles and there's a score. You're going to have three scores per athlete per, per round. So just the logistics and the visual of it are going to get a little bit confusing. There's a way to condense that. That isn't, that isn't the argument. That isn't the hill I want to die on with this argument. I'm just bringing this to you. Then you've got to put some kind of a scoreboard in the arena. They don't have them. You go to a basketball arena to play basketball. You've got all of these things built in. You've got the hardwood floors. You've got the chairs you, you set up. You got the hoops on each side. They don't have this. So now the UFC's got to bring this in from a production standpoint. That's a pain in the ass. That also is not the hill that I want to die on. I want to die on the hill if you're going to ruin the anticipation of the fight. Yes, it can create controversy. Yes, there are bad calls. You want to find that out at the end of the night. Trust me on that. You want to sit around that living room with your buddies and you want to have that two or three minutes as the announcer's getting everything together and he's getting in there and Dana's walking in with a belt and what side's he going to stand on? You want to get this together and start arguing and start having this fun few minutes of saying who you think won and why. You want to send a couple of text messages to buddies. You want to get a back and forth and then see who's right. Trust me when I tell you that. You do not want to see this in real time and know everything. You want to be guessing. And there are certain nights where you want to be mad at the outcome and you don't agree with it. Everything will be done openly when it's done. Those scorecards are turned into a commission who, by the way, is a government agency who, by the way, has transparency. You can see exactly what judge, by name, first and last, gave a 10 and gave a 9 to a guy each round. It is very open in that regard. You don't want to shot clock up. You absolutely do not want, you just don't. Trust me on this. It will make it boring. It will make it dull. Whatever misconceptions that you have, that it will change the fight. And one guy will know when he's behind and have to go for that finish. All of these crazy things that you think are going to happen. Would it make it, would it, would it happen for you? Whatever job you have, if the boss comes in and says, you're up, are you, are you going to go hard? Why weren't you going hard before? If the answer to that is yes, and I could be motivated at the last second to try to get a big win, don't you have to look, look at the man in the mirror and say, why wasn't I doing that before? 
So that argument isn't going to hold water. I'm speaking purely to the anticipation, purely to the viewer experience and the enjoyment of the fight and all of the back and forth and the arguing that you're going to have. You don't want to know in a good case or a bad case. If a guy's getting screwed, if you don't agree with the judge, you don't want to know that in round two and go, man, these judges are getting ready to rob me. You don't, you, you don't want to know. I'm speaking for you, but I wish that you would consider it. I don't think people have a good enough imagination on this to actually close their eyes, picture a, a fight happening. And now they've got a scoreboard that they're looking to after every five minutes for the point Dexter sitting ringside to see what they wrote. You want that at the end of the night. You want that high paid announcer in the shark suit coming in, saying what the scores are and revealing that to you, revealing the conclusion. What movie have you ever watched? That you didn't look forward to the ending. What show have you ever watched? What book have you ever read where you didn't actually look forward, have an excitement about the ending? Don't take that away from yourselves.